Hi there, everyone. This is Tina, and this is your message of the day. And this comes to you for the day of Saturday, March the 23rd, 2024. And this day, you might have woken up again with more questions than answers. And you might also be feeling that certain prayers are not being answered or that you're just stuck in the very same thing and you keep on repeating the same mistakes again and again. That's just you learning your lessons and moving on. But you haven't, you can say, picked up the divine language or the divine thoughts or the divine flow as of yet. That doesn't mean that you start to question yourself now and say that what what have I done that's incorrect that prevented those prayers from being answered. Prayers are always answered. They will just be answered in divine timing, in divine way. You just have to be patient and kind of flow along for some long-term projects, you can say, or long-term goals. But you're always taken care of, not for one moment do the divine ones leave you in any way. You're supported, you're loved. So just Take that in for a moment. Just soak it in as a breath. Immediately you feel lighter. And immediately you feel taken care of. That you're not going through whatever you're going through alone. And if you are in a situation which involves more than one person, push yourself out there a little bit in thought only, if nothing else. To just see the perspective of the other person. Now you say, how can I do that? Basically, stand in their shoes, literally. Think about it. Just as perspective, just as habit, just as everyday arguments that are going on. And you step back for a moment in a quiet space and ask the divine wants to literally enter your mind this time and help you clear all that cobweb that's there. You're seeing things from their perspective. You're doing what the card is telling you to do here, which seems very abstract. Change your mind. What does change your mind mean? Change your mind basically means think of it as having a resolution as having a solution, something that works for both people, for all parties involved. That's why she's listening to the heart. It's the cosmic heart. Literally ask that cosmic heart to fill in your own heartbeat. And you'll understand what the other person is feeling, perhaps for the more sensitive. You'll understand what it is they need from you And why is it that you're not getting along? All you're doing is being literally an earth angel. That's why she has wings that seem almost like fairies, right? Fairy wings. Why do they have black on the edge of it? Because it's releasing of all the old resentment, the old fears, the old ways of being, the old perspective. You're literally changing your mind. So in the past, you're releasing again that which no longer serves you, which is more biting than graceful right now. And then the right side to give you the permission to grow and glow and try. Many of you have given up on your dreams because you just think that's it. Heaven always, always answers your prayers. Heaven wants you happy. Just realize that first of all. If you realize that, everything else becomes easy and flows with that. Because if you see also on her, heart chakra is a huge butterfly. A butterfly who brings inspiration, effort, and opportunity that leads 
to fulfillment. Butterflies always bring happiness. And so, she's also wearing a gown that is red, full of victory, of passion, of trying, of movement. That's why it's also got on the bottom sweetness, sweet fruits, strawberries, that you don't stop trying, that you don't give up. And you keep on listening to this heart and don't literally block yourself to your heart. Some of you have done that even. Like it's just easier to go logically and whatever works and whatever I understand in the tangible world, that's it. That's all I want to try for. Why even try for this esoteric whatever? And see, there's a tree full of effort and opportunity being prepared for you. Ask. Ask who? The divine ones that support you, who support you. And who are these divine ones? Be they angelic forces. Be they divine mothers, goddesses that you believe in and you traditionally follow since childhood, childhood rituals, all those bring you a sense of familiarity, comfort that you really need right now. Go back to that. It worked for you in the past. It'll work for you now. Divine fathers who have their hands over you. The elemental kingdom surrounding you with nature and the beauty of nature and the magic of nature. And of course, the angelic forces, unconditional and ready to be called angel of, help me with, change my mind, literally. This time it's change your mind, angels. And to help you write all of this out, Archangel Gabriel is very much dropping copper rays all over the earth this day. Now how? Do you receive this? I choose to receive the copper rays of Archangel Gabriel to help me write and express myself for. And then just wait and see what your cosmic heart does. There will be a tingling. There will be an awareness. There will be some kind of change in that space behind her. Because it's not dark, right? And if you see, it's a melding of yellow and green. Yellow, determination, and green, healing. Whatever you want to place into that, you can maybe create a tree ball of light to help you change your mind, and you can step into that from time to time throughout the day. Again, asking for her help. Who is she, this she? Look at this vision over here, the visual in front of you, and give her a name, whatever name you give her. You say, but isn't she got a particular name already assigned by heaven? No, it's what you are kind of naming your own mind, your own thoughts, your own thought system. Then she will be able to help you even more because she's personal to you now. And that headdress she's wearing, having floral rays again pouring out of it from the crown, from the top of your head. It'll become vibrant and tingling and you'll feel it and you'll feel your thoughts coming alive like you came alive again. And now I choose to Receive. I choose to cleanse. I choose to create. I choose to understand. Keep on doing the choosing and coming alive. And then the right side, where there's again hearts falling down from a string. What is it that you're so afraid of putting into motion? Take one action step towards that. 
this day. All of them, there are so many of them. So it doesn't have to be just one realm of your life. Whatever strikes you, literally keep on feeling that cosmic heart guiding you this day and helping you change your mind, helping you get the divine perspective that is not a lost cause. Nothing is a lost cause. You have to just listen, be patient, trust. Yes, it's the most difficult when nothing seems to be going right. Ask for change exactly towards that, where you just give up. Or if you have physical condition that is upsetting you, whatever is upsetting and bothersome right now, towards that. Get that perspective. And if you see also she has on her solar plexus again to help her get the golden perspective, the Akashic space, understanding, the Akashic hands, you can say upon her. She has a row of golden daisies, beautiful flowers on her solar plexus, helping her change her mind, helping her stay strong, helping her make bold choices, helping her listen, trust her intuition, whatever it is that she wants to use of her inner self. It's available to her. And these symbols, go ahead and keep on scanning throughout the day, whatever strikes your fancy. This is the time to help you change your mind, literally. Because even I, as a messenger of the light, what I send forward to you every day, I send from, you can say, familiar oracle cards and tarot cards. But this day I decided to take also a divine step. And this is a deck that came from my heart, but I never really distributed it because I thought that it would be like a marketing project or something. But that means I was blocking my expression and stopping my flow. So learn from that. So the angels just ask you to see the situation from their perspective. The angels ask you to consider that whatever it is that is so bothersome to you, you don't have all the facts related to it. You don't know every single strand of energy that is coming and creating that, what is standing in front of you. So surrender to the guidance of the angels in this moment and for complete peace of mind and heart. You just step out of the way and just keep changing. Wherever you need to change, wherever it is you need to mold. You might have to mold yourself 20,000 times this, this day. That is bothersome because it's asking you to step out of routine in that sense. But some hidden factor or unknown information will come forward for your betterment. For your rising, you're just moving forward. Be rest assured of that. And here's an affirmation that you can keep on playing back again and again as many times as you want to. And they will echo literally the words of your heart back to you because it is given by an angelic force, an angel who's your friend, eternal friend. In this moment, I am willing to surrender my mind, my thoughts, my feelings, and my analyzing of the situation to my loving angels. I trust the angels' wisdom and knowledge of what I'm experiencing as they bring a heavenly perspective to my cares and worries. I know 
when I blindly trust my angels. The solution will make itself known in a miraculous way. And just look back now on the vision again and see how protected also you are in that bubble of light. What seems to be like a red sky around her is again the Divine Ones. So if you feel you need protection and safety and security for any reason, don't let insecurity stop you from trying or asking or believing of choosing. All these are still there very much within your basket, you can say, of blessings coming your way. You just have to flow along with the way the Divine Ones want you to flow along and you'll be fine. Because if you can see the border, it's floral. The Divine Ones did not even, you can say, spare that, <laughs> right? It's all protected. So just keep listening. Trust your feelings. And whenever anxiety or negativity of any kind rises, just go back to that knowing, trying, and just changing your mind continuously. And this comes to you as a graceful blessing from the angels. And this is by me. Like I said, I'm sharing this for the first time from my very own deck of graceful blessings of the angels by me, T-I-N-A-S-A-R-U-P. And the superb artwork that this flows to so distinctly and effortlessly and beautifully, just shining with the light, glowing with the light, vibrating with the light, comes to you from Sue Miller. And Sue can be reached at S U E M I double L E R A R T dot com. Sue Miller Art. Dot com. So what is it that you now want to bring in as understanding and action steps to go forward? Because that's why her head is covered with black hair. It's nothing to do with ethnicity. <laughs> it's basically listening, being available, being in that moment, trusting and doing exactly what is happening there and then. Because there will be many, many questions that will be asked of you this day. It will not be easy. It might be for some a tough road because you're sensitive. But keep on trusting and receiving and keep on clearing more like it. Chakra clearing is very important this day. Any form of meditation or prayer where you just kind of keep your mind, body and spirit within the moment then you'll be fine. You'll be able to listen because she's listening, right? She's taking all her effort to listen and receive the information that's coming, not going here and there and everywhere and trusting what she's receiving. That's most important. No one's going to question you. You're ready to go ahead. The divine ones want to see you happy, want to see you stop struggling and asking again and again for the same thing. And the road ahead is clear. There's nothing there, right, in your way, behind you, or even in front of you. It's all cleared. So just be covered also as she is, covered with the light, no matter what is going on around you. That is not your long-term blueprint for Earth. Maybe some people need to find out even to Archangel Raziel 
what exactly your divine blueprint is. This blueprint, blueprint that we keep on talking about, what is that? What am I here really supposed to and What am I supposed to do? What am I really here for? Help me know that and stand tall. Then at least I know what action steps to take. But be rest assured, you've received this message because you're ready to receive it and your soul wants to move forward and you want to shine and glow as you're meant to glow. And all the divine ones are literally forming an orb of light around you, a rainbow orb of light. So don't hold back. Give in to those thoughts, especially to those feelings, and you will just soar ahead with love. And this is Tina, signing off for now. And do tell me what you think of my new deck. And we can go forward further with that then. And this comes again from the Graceful Blessings of the Angels deck by me, T-I-N-A-S-A-R-U-P. And of course, the artwork cannot be denied in any way. It's Sue Miller. And Sue can be reached at S-U-E-M-I-L-L-E-R-A-R-T dot com. And this is Tina signing off for now. Bye-bye.